found that some of the um, of the sex workers were sent command, and we realized that we needed to integrate the services holistically. And we were able to come up with a sex worker strategy, and this incorporates first and foremost doing an enumeration of the study that you, uh, the target population that you have, mm -hmm. and we were able to enumerate the female sex workers in Coast Province. And after doing that, the other thing that you needed to do was to get their demographics. For example, what to look at how many of them had children, how many of them had stable partners, how many of them had regular, had uh, casual partners. And then we're also looking at their risk behavior and the knowledge that they had on HIV, STI. After doing that, the other thing that we did, we recruited a few of them and were able to train them as peer educators. The reason for doing this is that we know that peer education is the best way to reach other people with information on behavior change. And by doing this, we're able to now use the peer educators to have group sessions with their peers for one-on-one -on -one sessions. We're also able to look at risk reduction assessment with them and um, also come up with IEC materials that are suitable for them in behavior change. Another key thing is that, as we know, uh, sex work in Kenya is illegal, and especially the group that we deal with. But what we were doing, we were having an intervention to reduce HIV in the community. So what we did is that we have stakeholders on board and we have quarterly meetings with the stakeholders, the gatekeepers, religious leaders, to sensitize them on what the program is about. So that once they're able to understand what the program is about, they're able to support us. The other thing that we realized is that there are also young sex workers who are in this business. So one of the things we do is rescue and rehabilitation and reintegration of them back in their society. And some of the things that we do is that we identify some and we're able to take some of them back to school. We have vocational training for others, and by doing this we're able to get them out of sex work. We have the capacity building and mentorship components. The reason we have this is that we realize we need to get for them an alternative means of livelihood. So one of the things that we do, we have business management trainings for them. We have, uh, we have enabled them to form their own groups. We are able to give them technical assistance, they are able to write proposals, and they are able to get their own funds. Then we have linkages with other income generating community opportunities. Another key thing that they have, they suffer a lot from, is alcohol and drug dependency. So we have this reduction in this. We have had trainings for them, and we have counseling for this. We also have a key component of the section on gender-based violence, where we have some of them trained as paralegals and they're able to be the key linkages between that, the, the female sex workers and the GBVC, out the police or any other health facility that's nearby. Then we have the service delivery component that is still there. And then there's the 100% condom promotion and, uh, uh, promotion and distribution. And finally, to make sure that all this is a compass, we have the monitoring and evaluation aspects. So these are some of the results that we've had so far. And we have a poster that has been there that has been able to show some of the results that we have. Some of the other things is that other than using the normal way of reaching the school sex workers, we've been doing the moonlights where we go to hotspots at night and we're able to provide a HIV testing and counseling for them, provision of family planning services, and uh, treatment, uh, screening and treatment for STIs. The other way that we're able to reach them, we have door to door. Well, we have some of the peers or the female sex workers taking us to their fellow peers in the houses and we're able to provide these services to them. And we've realized by doing this, we're also able to, to reach their family members that they stay with. Another thing is that some of the successes that we have actually gotten some of the young girls back to school and they're interested in it and we're able to monitor and mentor them and uh, follow up on their progress. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Our next speaker.
to migrants, and uh, it's a case study that she 